Good day and welcome back here to episode 44. Today we're going to be working on the police special. Um, we're still waiting on the handlebars. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what we got left to do here. Um, looks like a lot, uh, a lot of small things and, uh, and that's about it. But I'm going to start from the back. Um, in this video we're going to tackle, we're going to adjust our rear shocks. Um, the preload and, uh, and all that uh, with these uh, bowl and suspension, we're going to adjust the rear shocks. I have to install new brake pads still. Um, I got a shade down. I looked, I could not find um, a longer nut cert that goes underneath the bottom. So I'm going to shave down around the top. This is for our, our seat. I'm just going to shave this down because the OEM sheet metal for the fender is, is thinner than the ABS plastic I got here. So I'm just going to shave this down a bit until I can get the snap ring in. So I've got to do that yet. Um, I have to install the two-sided tape and clean up here for all my little resistor packs uh, to put load in so my blinkers uh, work. I got to do that yet. Um, uh, I have to paint the inside uh, fairing uh, myself. I'm going to do that, just matte black. Um, my outside fairing is being painted by Mad Painter as we're speaking. Um, I have to install the radio once I get the fairing mounted. Then I have to deal with all this wiring. Clean it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have to put front brake uh, pads in. Then I got to do all three oils in the engine, primary, and training. And then check the tire pressures. And then uh, we're going to be able to uh, get out there and uh, give her a, a test here. So, um, like I said, today uh, I'm going to tackle removing the saddlebags and setting the, the preloads of the rear suspension um, of the Olin suspension. So, I've been trying to do research and read the little bit of information that they gave me when I purchased these. And to be quite honest, uh, there's not that good of information out there. What I did, I went on Big Bear Choppers and he has a good tutorial on how he set it up. So uh, rebound, preload, and, and all that. Uh, so Big Bear Choppers has a good video. It's an older video of theirs, but uh, a good video nonetheless. So I'm gonna get this set up here to do that for my rear shocks. So here we are back on the rear of the bike. We're gonna be tackling the rear suspension. So these are all in suspension. They have three adjustments on them. I've got it all written down. The bottom of the shock, right down here, there's a black adjustment. That is for your rebound. Right here on our accumulator is for our compression. And then um, our preload or rebound is this adjustment on this wheel right here. So our accumulator and our rebound we can do stagnant like this our preload or our rebound our preload right here our rebound we have to do with the rider on the bike and you're taking a measurement of the distance from the ground to the to the pivot point of where we see the adjustment of our weight of the rider on big bear choppers they recommend 20 millimeters is when i sit on the bike to how much I can lose, 20 millimeters. Um, again, I didn't find a lot of information, so I can't give you a mathematical figure on how I did it. I've watched a lot of videos, a lot of them, especially in Daytona where they were showing installs, they aren't doing any talking, they're just showing the visual of it. So the adjustments that I'm doing today, I'll zoom in here to show you. The adjustment on the bottom is a rebound. That's right here, this black wheel. So they tell me to turn it to the right until it bottoms out. It, you can hear clicks. The heater's on, you may not be able to hear the click. So I'm gonna go all the way to the right until I don't hear it click. So that's bottoming it out. Okay, so it's bottomed out there. They, on Big Bear Choppers, they recommend on a bagger, 
and that's what this is. This is 16 clicks to the left, so I've gone all the way to the right, I can't go anymore. Now I'm going to count and listen, 16 clicks to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's 16 clicks from it being turned all the way down to the right till you don't turn anymore. 16 clicks to the left for a rebound. So now we're going to do compression. I'll adjust the camera here. So same principle. We're going to tackle this black knob on here now. So same thing, compression is 15 clicks. So I'm going to come up, I'm going to turn it to the right. One, two, three, four, five. I really don't have to count actually. I'm going to the right, so I want to zero it. So it's all the way. Now I'm going to go to the left, 15 clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's fifteen clicks here for compression off the accumulator. We did sixteen clicks on the bottom of our shock for rebound. So those are the two we just done. You don't have to have anyone on the bike or anything. The last one that we have to do is going to be rebound. Or excuse me, is preload. Is preload. That's this one here with 22 millimeters. Again, I I don't know much about it. I uh, I read all the documentation that came with my shocks. And it wasn't a whole lot. Um, and if it was a lot, uh, I obviously didn't understand and couldn't read it properly. But uh, we'll do the same on this side. We're going to tackle. We'll zoom in here. So right there. Right there, that black wheel is what we're turning. And then obviously on the accumulator, the black wheel right there as well. So we're gonna do the one on the bottom here. So I'm gonna turn it all the way to the right. Obviously what I'm riding, and I can be like, oh, I'm going two up. I can do my own adjustments and find a sweet spot. This is just a generic setting that, that they're setting to say an average uh, bagger, the average guy's weight, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go to the right till I don't hear it click or feel it click anymore. So that's all the way. So this is 16 to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16 on the bottom. Now we'll adjust here to do the top. Again, I'm going to turn this to the right as much as I can till it bottoms out. So that one bottomed out quick, so this one was only at about three. So, you know, you don't know how it is when you get it. So, so now we'll go back 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now we got 15 for our accumulator, 16 for the bottom of our shock. What I'm going to do, just to give myself a peace of mind, I'm going to zoom out here and bring it back in in one spot there. I'm going to measure with my tape measure from the top of this nut to the last thread, just to give myself a peace of mind for our preload, just to make sure that they're within the same limit, because i got to sit on it and I'll have to have someone else here. So I'm two inches from there to the top of the shock. So this side's a little bit tight. And this is just to give me in a ballpark. What I like about this shock setup is that it is adjustable, but the key I think is is you gotta you gotta ride it. Again, this is my first time with adjustable suspension. I have a couple of friends that have them. Uh, is to ride it, see what you like, see what's comfortable for you. If I'm riding two up, I may have to change it and whatnot. I'm still looking for more literature on these. Uh, because I've heard nothing but good things. I had a, a YZS 750 Superbike before that had Olin suspension on it. And same thing, I could dial it in and, uh, and it was great. So uh, so that's where we got that. Uh, so again, we'll just come up. So our adjustment was down here. An adjustment right here. This is our other adjustment. This is for when we're sitting on the bike. They want 20 millimeters of sag is what they want. And they come with a tool that goes inside here because when I turn this, it turns the whole the whole coil. You can see it all moving. So uh, it's pretty neat in that aspect. Now it sounds like it's raining out. So we're gonna leave it like that. So both of them are set the same. Again, I've only ridden this bike once and then I tore it down. So uh, I need to uh, obviously get uh, get on it, get riding it a bit and see what I like, what I don't like. And that will come, that will come. We gotta obviously wait for nice weather, but. Uh, so right now I'm gonna cross off the list, setting up the rear shocks, the rear suspension. I'm gonna cross that off my list. So it wasn't a whole lot today. Uh, again, obviously I installed these shocks near the beginning of the build but I've been reading, trying to find better literature to understand. I'll be honest right now, I don't understand those turns that I did, the 16 and the 15. I understand that they're saying that will get you in a ballpark for a performance bagger for the weight of the bike on the suspension set up for the average uh, rider, whatever the average rate weight is that they're stating. I weigh 260, so I don't know what the average weight is. So I'm gonna start with that um, I will uh, carry on and uh, with what else I got to do, but uh, it gives me a good guideline where to start and to see if I like it, and then I can adjust as need be. But uh, obviously other people can find more information on these shocks or may know other people that have enjoyed them and used them, but uh, we'll leave it like that. Thank you very much. Bye.